find out the following. Now you are asked to find out or solve this following question. 53 square. Normally what you would do is you put 53 here. You would multiply this by this. Then you do the multiplication. Suppose you get this. So you would have got this answer. Right? But this is a mechanical way of doing things. So the question is, can I do it in a simple manner? We know the identity x plus y whole square is equal to x square plus y square plus 2xy. Now, 53 square can also be written as 50 plus 3 whole square, right? Now, you must be thinking, why did I use 50 here? I mean, 53 can also be written as, let's say, 60 minus 7 or 45 plus 8. Why did I use 50 plus 3 here? The idea is that normally whenever there's a 0, to find out the square of that number is pretty easy. Having 45 into 45 is difficult. But if you have 0 here, and of course 60 minus 7 could also have been a possibility. But currently we are dealing with the identity of plus. So I have to break this number into some kind of a plus figure. So now what happens? x is equal to what here? x is equal to 50 and y is equal to 3. Putting these values of x, y in this identity, I get 50 square plus 3 square plus 2 into 50 into 3. Now, doesn't it sound easy? So, 50 square, and do I know what's the square of 5? 5? 5 square is 25. Then I put in 2, 0 plus 9 plus 2 into 50, 100 into 3, 300. So 2500 plus 300, 2800, 2809, which is the same as I would have got through the manual calculation. So by applying this identity, what I have been able to achieve is, I have been able to solve what seemed to be a difficult problem in a very easy manner.